Have you ever pondered over the thought of practicing yoga in your most natural state, naked? Now, before you dismiss it as outrageous or scandalous, pause for a moment. Naked yoga, as peculiar as it may sound to some, is a practice that's been gaining traction in recent years. It might shock you at first, and that's perfectly normal. It's not every day that we hear about people bending and stretching in their birthday suits. But here's the twist. Naked yoga isn't about exhibitionism or creating a spectacle, far from it actually. It's about unity, about connecting with oneself on a deeper level. It's about shedding inhibitions, not just clothes. It's about embracing vulnerability and celebrating the human body in all its glory. And most importantly, it's about feeling free, unbounded by societal norms or expectations. So are you ready to challenge the status quo? Let's peel back the layers of preconceived notions and dive into the history of naked yoga. Naked yoga, contrary to what many believe, is not a modern trend. It has a deep and fascinating history that stretches back centuries, rooted in ancient traditions and spiritual practices. Now let's take a journey back in time, to the ancient lands of India and Greece where naked yoga first began. In India, the Naga Sadhus, or naked holy men, practiced yoga in the nude as a part of their spiritual journey. They believed that nudity helped them to break away from the material world, allowing them to focus solely on their spiritual development. These holy men would practice yoga in the buff, often in secluded areas, completely immersed in their meditation and yoga postures. On the other side of the world in ancient Greece lived the gymnosophists, or naked philosophers. They too practiced nudity as part of their philosophical and spiritual beliefs. They saw the human body as a marvel of nature's work and believed that practicing nudity would lead to a greater sense of freedom and a deeper understanding of oneself. Over the centuries these practices evolved and spread across different cultures and societies. In the 20th century, naked yoga began to gain popularity in the Western world, particularly during the counterculture movement of the 60s and 70s. It was seen as a form of self-expression and liberation, a way to break free from societal norms and restrictions. Today, naked yoga is practiced in various forms across the globe. Some see it as a way to promote body positivity and self-acceptance. Others see it as a means to deepen their yoga practice by removing the barrier of clothing. It's a practice that encourages openness, vulnerability, and a deeper connection with oneself. With such a rich history, one might wonder what benefits does naked yoga offer? The benefits of naked yoga extend far beyond the physical. This may surprise some, but when we delve deeper into the practice, it becomes clear how this unique form of yoga can nourish both our bodies and minds in profound ways. First off, let's talk about the physical benefits. Practicing yoga in the nude can greatly enhance your flexibility. Without the constraints of clothing, every pose becomes a full range of motion exercise, engaging your muscles more effectively. This can lead to improved strength and flexibility over time. Additionally, naked yoga can also boost your circulation. By removing any tight or restrictive clothing, blood can flow more freely throughout your body, promoting better overall health. But what truly sets naked yoga apart are the mental benefits. One of the most significant is an improved body image. In a society that often promotes unrealistic beauty standards, practicing naked yoga can be a powerful act of self-love and acceptance. It encourages you to appreciate your body for what it can do, rather than how it looks. This can lead to a more positive body image and a greater sense of self-worth. Another mental benefit is reduced stress. The practice of naked yoga involves a deep level of concentration and focus, which can help to calm the mind and reduce feelings of anxiety. It's a form of meditation in motion, allowing you to connect with your inner self in a deeply personal way. Of course, naked yoga may not be for everyone and that's okay. There can be concerns about privacy and comfort which are completely valid, but it's essential to remember that naked yoga, like any yoga practice, is personal. It's about what feels right for you and no one else. Naked yoga then is not just a physical exercise but a journey of self-discovery and acceptance. It's an invitation to explore the depth of your strength, embrace your vulnerabilities and celebrate the unique beauty of your body. It's about stripping away the layers of societal expectations and finding a sense of peace and freedom in your own skin. The path of naked yoga, while challenging, can lead to profound self-discovery. This journey we embarked on today has led us through the winding paths of history, the varied landscapes of human culture, and deep into the heart of self-awareness. We've unveiled the naked truth about naked yoga, 
traced its origins back to ancient civilizations, and explored the profound benefits it offers to those bold enough to venture down this path. Naked yoga, as we've discovered, isn't a recent fad or a provocative trend. It's a practice steeped in the rich tapestry of human civilization, with roots tracing back to the ancient societies of India. It's a testament to our inherent need for connection, with ourselves, with others, and with the world around us. The benefits of naked yoga extend beyond the realm of the physical. Yes, it can improve flexibility and strength, but it also nurtures the mind and spirit. It's about stripping away the layers of societal norms, self-doubt, and inhibition, revealing our authentic selves. It's about embracing vulnerability, cultivating self-love, and fostering a sense of freedom that's as liberating as it is empowering. But it's important to remember that naked yoga, like any other form of yoga, is a personal journey. It's not for everyone, and that's perfectly okay. What matters is that we approach it with an open mind, a sense of curiosity, and respect for those who choose this path. It's about understanding that naked yoga is a choice, a personal decision made in the pursuit of self-discovery and self-acceptance. So, as we wrap up this exploration, let's remember the essence of naked yoga. It's not about nudity for nudity's sake. It's about stripping away the unnecessary, the superficial, the masks we wear. It's about bearing our souls, not just our bodies. As we conclude, we leave you with this thought. Naked yoga is not about the nudity, but about the freedom to connect with oneself and nature in the most authentic way possible.